Hi guys and welcome back to another story my photo cards video. Um, I have not that many, or, or I do have quite a few actually. Um, I'm going to show you how many I have. I think it's somewhere between 50 and 60 cards. Um, I sometimes had more, sometimes I had less, so that's okay. It's quite a thick stack though. <laughs> yeah, um, it's from before Christmas and yeah, I just didn't have the time to put it away. And then I filmed it once and I didn't like how it turned out because it was super, super um, dark. Just because outside it's obviously dark, so the natural lighting is super bad. Um, yeah, and so I just decided to refilm it. I took some a lamp here, so there is kind of a glare, but it is a lot less blurry because of the dark, which is, I think, better um, Yeah, than just having like a blurry video. So we'll have to live with the glare, but that's okay. This is in frame. Wait a second. Okay, I think like this. It's a bit better. Um, I only have non-album stuff for um, 80s, which is behind here somewhere. Oh, actually, wait. Shouldn't I have? Okay, I guess we'll do the <laughs> pre-order first. Let's see. Right, I remember now. We have pre-orders and then the Korean non-album cards. For this page, I only have one photo card and it is Hong Joong's um, DVD photo card, which I did pull in the group order I joined, so that's very nice. Um, for the postcards, I already stored them in here in the when I filmed this video first and I didn't see the point in taking everything out again, so I do have them in here already. And we are finally also completing our um, fansign photo card page. These were the last two cards I needed. It's Hong Jung's first and seventh card. Also, <laughs> MMT, what's wrong with you? They really wrote his name wrong. Like, what's that? Like, I was so confused when I got this card. I was thinking, like, did someone, like, uh, did fake ones and accidentally wrote Hong Jung one? But um, it's really just MMT that, like, fucked up. <laughs> But we're just not gonna talk about it, I guess. Um, I do have his first one, which is from Beat Road. I joined a group order for this. And then for the seventh one, which is an MMT one, I just bought it from someone on Instagram. And with that, I also completed my full fansign page, which is super amazing. I'm super happy with how it looks. And yeah, I actually have to say the last ones are my favorite pictures, because these are like off like the album ones, but these are like all different, which is super nice. So yes, and then we have just bigger things that I still have to put away. We have this here, which is um, Hong Jung's AR book card, uh, Cake on AR, sorry. And we are just storing it here. There's no specific theme to this. I just store everything that's like bigger in here. And I have one Japanese thing for him. All right, I can just show you real quickly. I did put Hong Jung first, even though I usually put stuff in each order, but since this is like just his section usually, I just decided to put him first and then the rest of the members in each order. I did this in my first try of the video, but um, I just didn't see the point of taking it out again, because like those take a while to put in instead of the photo cards, which is like super quick to put away. But yeah, the last thing we have is a Japanese card and it's at the back here, somewhere here. I have one more of this like schoolboy outfit. <laughs> Um, there's like five of these. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because I do already have two which I like more But for now, I'm just going to store it in here and we'll see how I decide later on And I still need to print uh, print. I still need to cut paper out here But yeah, that's for a later point. Then I'm going to go and grab my NCT Astro Super M binder All right I also filmed actually a video of me storing all of my NTT cards because I recently added four more members to my collection. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video, but I'm also going to refilm that storing photo cards video because it was also super dark and blurry because of the lightning. So this is a lot better with the lamp, <laughs> even though you kind of have a clear, but that's okay. Um, and so yeah, because of that, I'm going to skip over my NCT section, so it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> when I upload the video, but I do have Super M cards, which are a bit further towards the back. So let me just find the back of this. Oh my gosh, 
So this is all Astro and NCT, if you were wondering. Uh, oh gosh, it's not stopping. Okay, wait, I found it. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so for Super M, oh, I saw totally I didn't say this before, but I changed my uh, dividers. Because the other ones I did, I did them myself. So they looked all different and I did like how they looked, but they were also a lot of work and I was way too unmotivated. So I kind of just decided to do these, which I saw on Instagram before and they were super pretty and they're also super easy to make. And I can just print them at home instead of um, going to a store for like the other ones I did. Um, but yeah, back to this. I have some cards for Super M Super 1 release. Um, I do have two of his IDs, his green and red one. The, for the blue one, I traded one of my IDs. I don't know which one. I think my Lucas one, which was the red one, but I'm not 100% sure. And we're going to store these in here. All right. And then I do have both of his Asian photo cards, um, his normal card, like his solo card and his unit card with Taemin. And I did hold a group order for this, which was my first ever group order. Oh my god, my dad is like throwing stuff around. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but yeah, I do have both of these, which completes the Asian version. But for the like American or international version, however you want to call it, um, the selfie is in my Macari package. And the blue ID, as I said, was a trade, so I don't know when that will get here, but technically I'm done. And the only thing I have left for like album stuff for Super M is the postcard. I pulled the group and I pulled 10. I did sell 10 and buy Taeyong, so I will also have him on the way in my Macari package. And I still need to also cut paper for here. And the only things left are like... Um, the only thing left are holographic cards from their standees, so like non-album stuff, <laughs> and I have two. I have the other standee also in a group order claimed, so I'm going to get that rather sooner than later, but for this I have the Tiger Inside and the 100 one, and we're going to be storing these as well in here. And I also didn't take out the standees because I was struggling so much with putting these in in the video. So I just left them in, but I do have those as well now. And that's it for this uh, binder. And we'll go over on to... And binder you don't really see often, so that's interesting. <laughs> okay, you may be wondering what this binder is. This is my binder for everything that I'm not actually like collecting. And it's also my uh, trade and sale binder, basically. So... Yeah, I just... Is it in frame? I feel like it's not. <laughs> it kind of is. Okay, so I got it for Christmas, which I'm filming this like three days after Christmas or four, four days, I think. And I got the uh, BTS Deluxe album in here. Um, I got it for Christmas from my parents, which was super nice. And yeah, I'm just going to be storing this in an eight pocket, actually. And I do have this kind of more organized than I used to. Um, also, for anybody who is wondering, I took out all of the bigger inclusions from my normal boy groups binder and stored them here as well. So like my bigger gravity stuff and 17 as well is now in here because it took up too much space and I'm not like actually collecting it. So yeah, I do have to put away the group card first. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to be storing the horizontal, uh, the vertical one. Because I'm going to put the rest of the cards in an 8 pocket because they are all um, horizontal. But for this one, I'm not sure where I'm going to store it. I guess we could store it on this page. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Um, that's like DVD and other inclusions. So that's okay, I guess. Also, this is a fake. So I'm just going to put this group card here and this one here. And I forgot to grab an 8 pocket. So I'm just quickly going to do that. All right, here's an eight pocket of mine. Um, they are like really like big, uh, like the pockets, obviously they're bigger than nine pockets. And I only have normal sleeves, so I'm not sure if they like move around a lot, but yeah, I do have all members obviously, cause this album came with all members. So I'm putting everything in age order. I had to pause for a while because it was like super noisy outside. 
my parents were like, I don't know what they were doing, but they were super loud. Um, but now it is kind of quiet again, so I'm continuing on. We have Yungi next. It kind of bothers me that they don't look at each other, <laughs> but that's okay. We're just gonna live with it. Okay, then we have Hobi. I do put things in age order. I don't know if I already said that. I don't like to put the leader first usually, so I do keep things in age order. That's just my preference though, so do whatever I want to do, I guess. We have Namjoon. They're actually all looking away from each other. <laughs> I'm like, what? And we have Jimin. I like his background a lot. I think that's my favorite photo card out of the set. And we have Tay. We have Jungkook. And last but not least, we have the group. And that's actually also it for this whole binder. As I said, this is just for groups I'm like not actually collecting. So usually I don't add on to it. But since I got this from my parents, I obviously put it in. Um, I'm not going to be storing the postcards that came with it because they don't have their faces on it. So I don't need them in this binder. But yeah, basically, for example, I do have like a few more Jungkook things here because I used to collect this non-album stuff and then just more groups that I'm not actively collecting, but that I have stuff for. So like the crunch. Um, I also took out Everglow out of my girl group binder because I no longer am collecting the albums. So I just kept what I pulled and I'm going to leave it at that. And then like, for example, uh, 17, because I actually don't collect that big inclusions. I do have quite a few though, and they took up a lot of space. So I just took them out. So yeah, basically that's my dumping binder, if you want to call it like that. But that was it for this binder. And we'll go over onto my normal boy group binder. Okay. Um, I do have most cards for this binder, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's a lot that I need to put in this binder. Wow, I never noticed this before. Um, yeah, I have quite a lot of stuff to put away. Okay, like the biggest part will be in this binder and then I do have only like six cards or something for twice. So yeah, the biggest stack is obviously for this binder. And in here are all of my boy groups that are not old groups or like bigger groups I'm collecting. So let's start with... I don't have anything for gravity. Um, I did move all of the cards on one page though because they always have three. And I do enjoy a full page more than like a page with just three cards. So I did combine this and I think it looks super pretty. And then I just have one more page for like other album cards. And that is a pre-order benefit from K-Town for you. So I just kept it as well. Okay, first group I have stuff for is DKB actually. And this will complete my collection for now until they come back. And I do have both of, gosh, they're super dirty. I have both of the ones cards. Um, I think the white version was the A version. So I'm going to be storing this in the middle. And then we have the blue version as a second one. I only collect MMTs if there's no second card to collect, which was like the case for this. And this is actually a fan sign card, but this time they actually had two cards. So this fits perfectly on a page. And this is my for now completed DKB collection. And we can go over onto Pentagon. If anybody has this card, please message me. I really, really desperate. I've been searching for over a year for it now and I just can't find it. Which is super sad because it's also the last card I need to complete my album collection for him. And since he's now going into the military, um, uh, he, I don't, I won't be ad adding anything to it for a while. But yeah, I have the last card for we, the H, as well as his message card, which is not scratched and I won't be scratching it as well. And I just wanted to put this here and the last card is going to go here. And with that, I really completed all of his album cards apart from this one. So if you have this, please let me know because this card, I don't know, it's avoiding me. I'm super sad. But apart from that, I'm done with my um, Pentagon collection, which is super nice. And we can go over on to 17. I only have cards for the latest release, which is somewhere at the back here. <laughs> there we are. Um, that's semicolon. There's only two cards, which is super weird for them because usually they have like eight 
or 20 like a node so yeah i do have both kites um one of them has kind of like i guess it's a misprint has like a white spot here but that's okay and they look super similar and i kind of enjoy this one a tiny bit more so i'm going to put it in the middle but apart from that there's no specific reason why i'm putting it in the middle one has to go there i guess and that also i'm i'm done with my seven collection i have been for a while it's just that a few cards are stuck in korea and i don't know when i'm going to get them i hope they're coming soon though okay but now we can go over on to my latest addition to this binder where is it oh it's actually not my latest my second latest uh, edition it's stray kids and i'm collecting mino and some people may be surprised by this because I usually don't talk about it, but I actually follow Stray Kids since pre-debut. It's just I collected them once. I collected Chan right at the uh, right after the debut, but I didn't really enjoy it, so I stopped and sold my cards. And now I kind of want to collect Mino, and I did decide to limit myself to just collecting from Mido onwards. So we're just going to do that. I have a few cards here and there, which is super nice. For me though, I have three cards out of five. They mostly have five cards per album, which is a nice amount to like store it um, in a nice pattern, which I do enjoy that, so that's nice. Thank you, JYP. And we can put this onto... Okay, where I wanted to store it is, I wanted to put the far away card in the middle, because it's the only one that's far away. And then they have two borders and two non-borders. And I'm going to put the uh, borders opposite of each other and the selfies opposite to each other. I, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to be taking this out and putting the far away card in, as I said. And for the two cards I own, I like the non-border more. So I'm going to put that on top and this card is going to go in this spot and this one is going to go here. So I don't have the last two cards coming, I think. I'm not sure though. Maybe I have them coming. I don't think I do. And then for yellow wood, I have three cards here as well, which is nice. So we have these three. And I love these selfies, but I couldn't find them yet for a decent price. So I'll obviously build a, put the selfies first. And this is just gonna go in a row. So let's put these in here. We have the black border. These were all pretty decent to find, also for decent prices, but I don't know why, but the selfies are super difficult to find. I guess since they are like really cute, but yeah, I hope I can find them for a decent price. We have the far away one. These aren't my favorites. I don't think they need to do these, but <laughs> that's okay. And we can put the yellow border in here. Oh, that looks super nice. I love his cards. <laughs> And then there's no pages, uh, no paper in here because I actually have all five. Um, I already planned out how to store them in my latest attempt of this video. Um, I do have all five cards though, which is very nice. And I'm just going to store them in here in the way I wanted to. Um, I'm a bit not annoyed, but I wish they would have had a different, or he would have had a different outfit on. Uh, in three photo cards, he has the same outfit on. Um, and usually I will put those in a row, but this border here is like super obvious. Like it stands out a lot compared to the other ones. So I'm putting this here. So this is the only time, <laughs> hopefully, where I don't put the borders opposite of each other. And the only reason I'm doing it is because this uh, border stands out way too much for me to not put it in the middle. I usually would put this in the middle, but I really didn't like how it looked when I first first filmed this video, so I switched it and I'm more happy with this version of it. Yeah, now... Actually, you know what? I could switch these around, right? Then I have at least the opposite, uh, the, uh, the selfies without border opposite of each other. Let's check how that looks. So we would have this here and this here. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm going to keep it like this for now. That's it for Levanter. And we have Go Live, which the last two cards I'm still missing are on their way to me. So Go Live is technically completed. And I do also have all of his one-sided photo cards here. The double-sided ones are all on their way. I'm going to put the white one in the middle 
and then I'm just going to put the two black ones on the opposite corners of each other. That's usually the way I store kites because I think it looks a lot nicer. And that means, oh wait, that's not centered at all. Um, so yeah, we're only missing the double side cards, which I hope they're coming soon. And for in life, that's the name, right? Yeah, for in life, I have one of the double side cards. The other two cards are on their way to me as well. So I'm doing pretty good with my Stray Kids collection for now. Um, but yeah, I'm missing a few cards. So I hope I find these soon. Then for um, the boys, um, the latest video I updated, it updated, uploaded is um, my collection for the boys, like completed with me. And I didn't store the, uh, the Steeler cards because I wanted to film their own video, but I noticed that's like only 15 cards. So it didn't make sense for me to store them all in a video. Because it's really just 15 cards. That wouldn't have made sense at all. But I do have a few cards that I have here already. And I just decided to store them. Um, for the boys, I have these three cards here. The rest are coming in a group order. Um, two are the chase version, one is the trick version, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going from darkest to lightest color. I don't know if that's actually the right way. Um, but that means this is the A version for me. So we're going to be storing that here. And that also means that this is the B version for me. So we are storing that in here. And this means that this is the B version. Which means we are also storing it in the middle. And on my second page, I'm storing all of the tickets and um, lenticulars, which means we do have all of these, by the way, that's super nice. Let me just take these out. There they are, all of them. That's a nice thumbnail, I may just use this, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm all, always putting the ticket in the middle because the lenticular is more sturdy. So I kind of want to put it on the outside. I don't know if that makes sense, but for me it makes sense in my head. So we are storing the ticket for the chase version. And I'm trying to show this to you, but I really don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, that's the chase version lenticular. Then we have the Stila version, I'm pretty sure it's called. I really like this one. I think that's my favorite version, photo card wise as well as concept wise. So that's this. And the other card is the trick version. We have the ticket and the lenti. There we go. You really can't see it well on video, but in, uh, in person it's not as bad actually. But yeah, I still would have liked if they did it another way that you can like always see the person, but that's okay. And that's actually for this binder. Also a sneak peek on a new video I'm planning on filming. I added a new group to my collection and um, I have a ton of photo cards for them coming in the mail. So once all of that arrives, I will start them in their own video. So that's something to keep an eye on if you are interested in this group. And yeah, let's go on to my latest not my latest, my last binder, which is girl groups. Um, for my girl group binder, I don't have a lot actually. I have like one Mama Moo card and the rest is all twice. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but I do have a few things at least. So I'm just going to open this up. Also, um, something I decided on in 2021 is to go ahead and collect more of Gachon's older cards if I can find them for a decent price. Because um, I do really like her cards and I want to collect more of them. So I might just go and do that. But the first card I have to put away, which is super exciting for me, is I have this last card for this page, which is this memory card. I never thought I would have these, but I found a trade for it, which was super, super amazing. So I completed my album photo card collection for her, apart from travel. And the last card I actually still have on the way, apart from like the travel cards, is this, which I just shipped out of the Macari warehouse. So this is also on its way to me, which means everything older is completed. 
The only cards I still really need are the travel cards and I have two of them on the way, which is very nice, I have to say. But that's actually already it for... Um, why is there so much dust in here? <laughs> that's already it for like these girl groups and we're going on to twice, which, oh yeah, I uh, don't think I showed this yet. Recently, I've decided I really don't uh, want to sleeve the... I really don't want to use the black sleeves anymore to like sleeve the cards. So they are also in transparent sleeves now and I really like it so you can see the backs. I did use them as fillers though um, and I'm actually really happy with how it looks. So that's the way I've decided to um, keep them. Oh yeah, that's also where I need to put stuff. Uh, so I'm not using the uh, black sleeves anymore to sleeve my cards but I am going to use them as placeholders for twice so yes. Um, I do also have a full signal card set here. Um, if you're wondering why that is, it's because I joined a group order and I claimed all of Chewie's cards and I got them all. And now I just need to put them in. This is also a very nice set. I, I'm not the biggest fan of her older cards, I have to be honest, but I really like this set. So we have this one, then we have her holo card, which is super nice. I love this concept. Then we have her signal pose one. And we have her pink border, which I'm not the biggest, like, this pink fan, but that's okay. I love this card, though. It's super cute. And the only other thing I have, I'm just going to flip through so that you can see how it looks like. For the extra cards, I just put them on the back. But I actually really like how it looks. I know some people don't like it, but I really like it. So, yeah, that's that. The only cards I have actually are for the latest release, Eyes Wide Open. I have one, two, three, four, and her bigger card, which is this one if you were wondering. But I do have these four here. I do have the rest of the cards on the way to me. I do need, uh, I don't have a, like a specific way I want to store them yet, so I'm just going to put them in the way I have them in my hands right now. I can say already though that this is my absolute favorite card of this album. It's super, super pretty. And I adore it, so I'm just going to store them in the way I got them though. So we have this one with the like hands up. Then we have the suit selfie version, because they also have a more far away one with the suit. We have the yellow outfit one. I have to be honest, yellow isn't my favorite color, but it's still a very, very, very nice set. And then my favorite card, which is the like jeans outfit, I guess, at least for Chewy. And we can store that in here. Once I get all of them, I'm rearranging it how I want to. And last thing I really have for this video is this Chewy card. And this actually fits in here like this, which is very nice. And we can just move it down a bit. Yes. Okay, that's it. My completed storing photo cards video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I don't know when I upload this. Um, it's obviously after Christmas, but maybe it's still this year, so I hope you have a very, very great New Year's Eve, and yeah, I hope for everyone that our 2021 will be a better year than this year, and yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, bye bye!